No, no. Where's the Wi-Fi? I can't work like that. <laughs> no, of course it's a joke. I didn't climb all the way here just to work. I wanted to make just a cool introduction to the video, but okay, let me show you what is Bariloche. Bariloche is located in the Lake District of Patagonia and is known as the Switzerland of Argentina because of its amazing alpine and nature scenery. I stay in a Selena hotel because it's in a great location and it has a co-working area with good Wi-Fi. Plus, my other friends also decided to stay here. What is worth noticing that I'm gonna show you the life in Bariloche in summertime because winter is a whole different topic, it actually becomes like a ski resort, it's covered by snow and a whole different activities. But funnily enough, right now it's summer here, but other places like in the States it's winter, so it's a weird thing that you gotta get used to it. So first things first, we had to try some of the Patagonian cuisine, which includes lots of venison meat. Alright, beef and chorizo. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Cheers salud. Cheers, guys. Salute. Salute. The city is actually inside a national park, facing the Lake Nahuel Huapi, and the laid-back lifestyle of its people definitely brings an European mountain city vibe. So the main street of Bariloche is called Mitre. It starts in downtown, it goes all, all the way. It's just uh, next to the shore, tons of stores. There's also like, if you wanna buy any tour, you're gonna find them here. And also, there's all the chocolate stores because Bariloche, it's supposed to be like the capital of chocolate. So we're gonna check that too. So I got this simple chocolate bar. And then this one is 67% cacao. It looks like a log. And this one is 80% uh, nougat cacao. It's, I don't know, man. I just love cacao. <laughs> There's also Western Union in town if you want to convert dollars to cash. I mean, it's still a weird thing to bring like the, the cash all around, but it's just the way that it works as of now in Argentina. There's also this thing called Remy's, like personal taxi drivers. You can just have their phone number, call them, and they pick you up and take you somewhere, especially here because distances are too far. So where are we're we going? We're, we're going, going to Isla Victoria. And Bosques de Rajano, like a and forest thing with a whole group. Bosques Everyone's there? Okay. Bosques de Rajano, it's very Argentine. Bosques de Rajano. <laughs> So Bariloche is a great place for outdoor activities because there are so many things to explore in this Patagonia area. The Arajanes are, are bushes basically. So these are not, they will not grow bigger, they will not grow taller. And they're very unique because of their color and the fact that they're cold. So if you touch them, they'll move. Oh yeah, it's cold. It is cold. It is cold, right? Ooh. I like like the whole volcanic beach. Yeah, from 2011 when the volcano in Chile erupted, this is why it changed the color of the lago to green. This is really, really cool over here. So the cool thing is you're gonna find a lot of coffee shops here in downtown of Bariloche. This one is called Café Delirante, and they have their own coffee beans, they have the specialty coffee, the ones that I like, like Chemex, P60, Calita. So you're gonna find a lot of places to work. I actually seen some people with their laptops in this air in this coffee, so yeah. Uh, so I gotta recommend it but our Argentinian friend to check this restaurant called La Fonda del Tío. And their main dish is like a milanesa, it's like a bread slide of meat. But damn, it's really good. You should definitely check this place. So I found a few co-working cool spots here in Bariloche. This one is called Roof 126, because it's on the roof. And it has a few tables to share, like the Wi-Fi. It's like relatively fast being here in Bariloche. Look at that. It has a view of the whole Bariloche. And there's another one called La Compañía Co-working, which I'm gonna check the next day. But like, it's nice to see that there's a few co-workings to work in. 
maybe meet other digital nomads on the way. And don't forget to bring an adapter because Argentina uses this weird type I block connector. So my friends and I did the Circuito Chico loop in order to check out all of the Patagonia landscape, stopping first for a tea. And then we hike up to the Cerro Campanario for its outstanding views. We found out that there were some fires, but today's a little bit foggy. So it's gonna hang around all day. Uh, yeah. It's called haze, and it's a strong haze over there. But it's the way, sometimes it's not the best view, but still beautiful. It's Later, we visited the Swiss colony and ate their famous curantos, a slow underground cooking process. It's a lot, yeah. It's a lot, but one would not enough Yeah. <laughs> and the carrots and all the vegetables have gotten fantastic. Yeah. So enjoy, guys. And then we just kept exploring other cool areas of this loop. Helicopter pilot is very brave, like yes. very accurate. Kudos yeah. to him for trying to fight the fire here yeah. in Patagonia. So this is our, a map, the golden treasure, it's beer. There you go, Sergio. Thank you. <laughs> Where the craft beer was born, at least in Argentina. Right? This is the best brewery I've ever been to in terms of scenery. Thank you. Thank you. For Bariloche. For Bariloche. <laughs> Bariloche. Yeah. Yeah. For Patagonia. And on another day, I spent the whole day hiking to stay in a lodge next to the mountain summit. <sighs> the views are amazing, man. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where I'm staying tonight. I made it. I made it. It took me like three hours because I had to shoot the camera, take the drone, and then get some rest, like bring all the heavy stuff. But I made it to this shelter, it's called Refugio Lopez. I'm gonna stay the whole night. Damn, this is so amazing. I spent some days with my friend Santiago, who's basically now a local, and we did some work and show me around other areas of Bariloche. Yes. So I just got to El Bolson, it's like one hour and a half away from Bariloche. It's like a small town with this beautiful mountain on top. We're here with Santi with some friends. Can I check out like the whole town? Yeah. It's worth to mention that it's summer, but today it got windy and it got really, really cold. That's why I'm wearing the jacket today. And of course, we had to drink some mate here with my Argentinian friends. It's like a very Argentina thing to do. I got an avocado toast. Look how cute they made it. 
This is so nice. Yeah, I'm back to Bariloche after the whole road trip. And I found this coffee shop called Cafe Con Ideas. It's pretty cool. The design is nice. With the Wi-Fi is like actually really fast. So I think it's a good spot to work. Uh, it's very relaxing and I might do some work right now because today, today I'm gonna do another activity which I was very, very looking forward. Gonna go diving in the lake in Patagonia for very first time going diving in the lake. So let's do this. It was cold to be honest, like the first five minutes it was so hard to concentrate but after that like my body like got used to it and I loved it after like we're just going around as you saw in the video but man on the weekend I rented a car because I wanted to do the route of the seven lakes it's all about hopping through small towns and checking tons of beautiful shapes of water Alright, the first lake is called Lago Correntoso. I'm taking a small road to get there. Oh, yeah, like the water is cold, but uh, yeah, you get used to it after a few seconds. Yeah, it's nice. Nice, look at this place. Some towel, uh, cushions, and even a sleeping bag. Ah, the number three? Martin. Un Okay. So it was nice. It was a nice glamping experience. We got, got this small breakfast and I gotta carry on because there's still have six lakes to check. So the Lake Spejo, as the name says, it has like a mirror effect and it's such a beautiful, calm lake. It's massive, but it's so beautiful, so calm. found this pretty cool like river and I got to meet the Argentinian family it's such a nice people okay this is the hidden lake because it's a little bit hard to see just surrounded by big trees so the Villa Reno and the Faulkner Lake they're two massive lakes that they are very close to each other so when you go on the highway you can see both so on the way I found there's this waterfall called uh, Nivinko it takes like one hour to go and one hour to go back so Let's take the walk. So, yes. All right, the Macho Nico Lake is just a big, beautiful lake. It's a six one, and I'm very close to the end, like going to a town called San Martin. But it's sunset, so I gotta rush it so I can drive safely. Okay, that's an awesome view. Okay, I have a friend that I met in Buenos Aires that she was born in Martin de los Andes. So she gave me a few recommendations. I'm gonna check out in town first with the pizza place. Man, this pizza is really good. Sí, clásico. Está rico. So last but not least is the Lacar Lake, it's the one facing the small town San Martin de los Andes and it's also a very beautiful one, all of the lakes that I saw, 
the whole route's pretty cool. And I woke up very early to watch the sunrise here, so I'm gonna get a coffee and drive back uh, to Bariloche. Yeah, one part of having a car is that you can help hitchhikers. So I just helped like a random Argentinian to leave, leave him as his job. So on the way uh, going back home, so pretty cool. So we have some curry with some potatoes and small salad, some mayo and all this like bread to add on the curry, but man, it looks so good. So this restaurant is called Manush. This is one of the most see here in Bariloche. Like they have really, really good food. Plus they have their own kind of beers. This is the IPA session and I just tasted it already. It's so good. I like that you can see the empanadas. It takes 10 minutes and it's just, you can see when they're cooking it, how they're making it. And yeah, I'm taking my empanadas to go. But well, yeah, it's the last day in Selena and just need to pack and uh, get ready to go back to Buenos Aires. But it was a lot of fun. Bari Lodge is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, thank you for watching the video of Bariloche as a digital nomad. I hope it was inspiring and exciting for you. So let me tell you about a website that I've been using for the last couple of years and it's nomadlist.com. And you can find all of the information for the best cities for remote work, like every, every city around the world. If you go to Buenos Aires, let's say you can find the score, digital nomad guy, uh, some pros and cons, even some people that have left their own reviews. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you create your profile, you can track your travels and see who is around. For example, I did this in San Carlos Bariloche and there were two other guys from Nomad List. So that was pretty cool. But there's also a community. If we go to Slack channel, you can find people asking, this is actually one of my friends, William, asking if uh, Uber was active in Bariloche, but some people were replying that they used the Remise, which is that what I was using on my videos. That's pretty cool to see the people are all interacting, you know? But yeah, I would recommend you to create your own profile so you can check where you've been, where you're gonna go, and you can see all of the information, all your travels. And Nomalisa.com, they're a sponsor of my video, so Thank you very much. And if you create your profile, it's gonna help you and also me to create more videos. So it's a win-win for everyone. So yeah, now let's talk a little bit about the city and it's in the country in Argentina. Buenos Aires is all the way here and San Carlos de Bariloche is here. You usually take a flight, take around two hours. It's not that bad. And we, we zoom in. So that's like the whole area of the city. Salinas so somewhere here and you have all this road this is the Circuito Chico, the, the one that we did. And if you take the car, like you can go all around here and you start somewhere around here. Yeah, Villa Langostura. That's where the seven lake uh, trip starts. It's, you can see all the lakes around, you know. And the whole trip, it was just so beautiful. Like the nature in Patagonia is amazing. And you ended up here, San Martin de los Andes. That's the last part. You can spend a night, two nights. It's just such a chill, nice place to be. But I also drop a Google Map links in the description if you wanna check all the places I recommend everywhere around in the Bariloche and also around the area of the Seven Lakes Strip. And lastly, I'm gonna show you the cost of living in Bariloche. There's a whole charge of all expenses that I had. But I also had to remind you that right now the Argentinian peso is not a good shape. Just check blue dollar and you can get a, an official rate of one dollar to 200 pesos. So you withdraw the money to Western Union. That's why you carry the cash I just saw in the video. More information about that too. There's gonna be a link in the description. And that's how I can show you the whole cost of living for two weeks in Bariloche. And yeah, that was the whole video of Bariloche. I was so happy to finally see some part of Patagonia. Like, it's so massive. You can actually also see it from Chile or other areas around, but man, so, so nice. So totally recommend that if you ever go, let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a like. Everything's gonna help with the algorithm. More people can find this. All right, hope you liked it and see you in the next one, my friend. Ciao.